This is the fourth lesson of this tutorial on how to use PDO to work with the MySQL database. So far we've retrieved database records using a simple SQL query and a for each loop, which we can use with any connection type. Now let's look at how to use fetch methods to do the same job. Copy query.php and rename it fetch.php and we'll adapt it. Let's first simplify things by taking our query and assigning that to a variable named $STMT for statement, so as to make the syntax easier later. So that's $STMT equals $DB arrow query select star from names. Then we'll use that in a while loop with the fetch method working on that $STMT query. While $row equals $STMT arrow fetch parentheses and braces. And inside the while loop we'll put our echo statement and we'll get the records displayed just as before. For a moment let's comment out the echo line and put in a var dump there instead. If we concatenate HTML pre-tags before and after it it'll tidy up so that we can see what the array returned actually contains. And that seems to be an awful lot of data for a very small number of records. What's happening is that each of the records is being returned twice, because fetch by default returns both an associative array and a numerical array at once. You can see that here. We've got first name and then string for Andy. First name is the name of the field in the associative array. String is the type, data type, 4 is the length and Andy is the value. And then we've got the record repeated again, only this time we've got a numerical array with the key number 1 there instead of the name. And then the rest the same. We might sometimes want to return both arrays in one go if we want to allow for greater flexibility in how we can handle the data. But obviously this method results in twice as much data being returned. So usually, and especially if we were working with a big database, we'd probably want to avoid this and choose either an associative array or a numerical one. We can choose to return an associative array only by using PDO double colon fetch asoc, fetch associative, as the argument for fetch. Refresh and only the one set of data is returned now. change fetch associative to fetch numerical, fetch num, and we get just the numerical array. Fetch both has the same effect as putting nothing at all. We get both types of array returned. Let's put that back to fetch associative so we get just the associative array. So that's how fetch works to return data, and in the next lesson we'll look at how to use fetch all instead of fetch.